truth. You are the victim. All the mortals are made in the bone workshop of who? Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! As someone who is not as hot in Breath of the Wild as everyone else was after its release back in 2017, I've been looking for a game similar to it that would finally click with me. It's been a couple years since then, and while we've seen some elements of Breath of the Wild bleed into other games, we surprisingly haven't seen another title fully adopt its gameplay style outright, besides maybe Genshin Impact, a free-to-play title that has taken off recently. Immortals Phoenix Rising is the newest take in the genre-defining formula, set in the world of Greek mythology and coming from the team behind Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Besides its obvious Breath of the Wild influences, I was surprised to find that Immortals actually has quite a few distinct influences in its design. The story is serious, but also has a comedic undertone in the way that PS2 platformers were back in the day like Jack and Daxter or Ratchet and Clank. The gameplay, which does take some heavy inspiration from Breath of the Wild, is also mixed with the usual Ubisoft formula. When it was first revealed as Gods and Monsters at last year's E3, I have to admit I've been a bit apprehensive because of the idea of its reliance solely on the Breath of the Wild structure. However, I came away from this demo cautiously optimistic because of what it adds to the overall formula. In the four and a half hours of the preview that I played of Immortals Phoenix Rising, I was able to explore two of the seven regions of the Golden Isle, Hermes Clashing Rocks and Aphrodite's Valley of Eternal Spring. The preview dropped me into the very beginning of the game where we find our protagonist, Phoenix, shipwrecked on the unknown shores of the Clashing Rocks. From there, I was able to customize my own version of Phoenix. I didn't find the customization options at my disposal to be very robust, but it definitely does the job to establish your character and set the story in motion. After winding up on the Golden Isle, Phoenix finds his fellow crew members, captain, and brother frozen in stone, and he sets forth to restore them back to life. Along the way, he finds Hermes, who informs him that the gods have been defeated by Typhon, the big bad of the game, and it's up to Phoenix and Hermes to restore the gods and the world to its former glory. The story itself in Immortals is nothing to write home about, being the standard hero's journey, but it does have some distinct wit that finds a balance somewhere between Ratchet and Clank and Borderlands. The narration of a story by Zeus and Prometheus seems especially tongue-in-cheek, as a funny man meets straight man sort of dynamic. The overall story feels sort of nostalgic for me in a very weird way, where it brings forth memories of my childhood friend quoting the banter in Jack and Daxter. The combat in Immortals Phoenix Rising seems to be lifted straight from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, with almost the same button layout and a dash of Soulsborne style gameplay thrown in for extra measure. While the combat has some depth to it, it's definitely by no means a combo heavy action game like Devil May Cry. The Swords of Achilles are what I used most, but some other weapons that I got to play with were the Axe of Atalanta and the Bow of Odysseus, which offer extra options for heavy and ranged attacks. Along with the roster of weapons at your disposal, Immortals also adds the ability to move objects with the Bracers of Hercules or glide off cliffs with the wings of Daedalus. And both should be familiar to anybody who's played Breath of the Wild. One of the first things that comes up when people think of Breath of the Wild's gameplay is the climbing system, and Immortals is not shameless when it comes to this. If you know what climbing is like in Breath of the Wild, you basically know what it's like here. However, I did notice that some of the abilities while climbing that you have from the start of Breath of the Wild, like jumping while climbing, are locked behind the skill tree. Additionally, I didn't have any encounters with weather effects while playing, so it's yet to be seen if the physics of the weather will affect your climbing in any way. Another aspect of Breath of the Wild that Immortals is trying to put its own spin on are shrines, which take the form of the Vaults of Tartarus. For the most part, they seem similar to shrines, but since there aren't as many abilities at Phoenix's disposal as Link had, puzzles are much more traditional than the physics-heavy puzzles of Breath of the Wild. I found that most of the puzzles in Immortals were simple and pretty straightforward, but one puzzle in particular did stump me, and even after I found out the trick to it, it still didn't seem very telling as to what to do, which could be equated to user error. About an hour and a half into the preview build of Immortals, I got far enough to explore Aphrodite's Valley of Eternal Spring, which I found to be way more interesting than the Clashing Rocks. The Valley of Eternal Spring had way more side activities, wildlife, enemies, and collectibles to get sidetracked with. After I got to a certain point in the preview, I was able to access an upgrade boost to see what it would feel like closer to the end game content. At the Hall of the Gods, which I assume will be the main HQ of the game, I was able to upgrade my skills, stamina, weapons, and health, as well as make several different potions to aid me on my quest. With the end game upgrades, I went to a legendary encounter that I saw along the way of the main quest line, which basically seems like random boss encounters spread throughout the world. 
While the encounter was tough and I did have to think on my feet a little more than the usual enemy encounters, I didn't find my encounter with the legendary beast to be all that legendary. All in all, I had fun with my time in the Golden Isles of Immortals Phoenix Rising. Do I think it's going to live up to the masterclass that is Breath of the Wild? No. However, for someone who was jaded upon Breath of the Wild's release, but loved Assassin's Creed Odyssey, this might be just the right game to jump into. Immortals Phoenix Rising is available on December 3rd for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, PC, and Stadia. Also available right now is a demo exclusively for Stadia, so you'll be able to try it out for yourself. But what do you think of the game? Let me know in the comments below. And for everything else, stay tuned to Dual Shockers.